for Look Good, Feel Better Ireland. Now make sure you get the word Ireland in there because obviously Look Good, Feel Better, the charity is a worldwide organization. Well, it's definitely around Europe. So I'm gonna say it's worldwide. And we want Sorry, to now we're very shaky on YouTube okay. at the moment. Like Don't worry if I'm a little bit shaky there. That's me tree. You see, me tree is shaking. Very windy here. Special in branch. Ah, special branch. I had no foliage this morning. Do you know that way? And I think I've said to you this before, I have a eucalyptus tree. I used to have a eucalyptus tree. <laughs> and I still have a eucalyptus tree in the garden. And it's baldy up as far as I can reach. And there's a little raised wall. And even when I stand on the raised wall, it's still baldy. So there was one branch after sneaking through the fence into the next door neighbor's garden. So I had my son this morning, saw the branch, this branch here, on our side of the fence. So this was in our side of the fence. And then it was like it was after shooting through and that was all grown in Mrs. Murphy's garden. So Ben was able to grab the top of it, you know that way. So as soon as we got it broke here, then we whipped it, took it back in <laughs> and threw it to ours again. Our name was on it, it was our eucalyptus tree. So that's what I'm going to use today as a little bit of foliage. So if we could get um, lined up, today I'm going to show you how to make these little containers. And these will be ideal. I'm going to show show you all this right these will all be ideal for somebody maybe having a celebration coming up soon maybe like a confirmation a communion a birthday a barbecue do you know that way or listen just let's get out there and enjoy the sun so i'm going to show you how to actually make these little containers and um, they're very inexpensive to make you know that way okay. and it's something that you can have kind of like prepared way way in advance but before we get started, okay, I need to see the share buttons going up, okay? So I need everybody to share this because the whole And idea... on Instagram, we want hearts. Okay, so lots of hearts and lots of thumbs up on Instagram. As I said, the reason why we're doing today's live is to raise awareness for Look Good, Feel Better Ireland, which is a charity. We're not going to be looking for any donations, okay? So you're absolutely fine. It's not a Put your wallet away. Put your wallet away for today. We'll come back on another time as a fundraiser. But um, the problem that Look Good, Feel Better Ireland is having at the moment is people don't know about their service, okay? So what do they do? And we're depending on you to share this, and we're going to run an amazing competition okay so I've loads to tell you so be click and share while you're there and obviously comment underneath when you're commenting underneath just for anybody that's new and doesn't know the story we like to know where you're watching in from what part of the world what part of Ireland and sure obviously we want the weather forecast and it's a beautiful day in Dublin I have to say absolutely gorgeous oh, we're getting loads of hearts sky is blue couple of clouds out there you know that way the sun is shining it's you can see there no jacket today no cardigan you know that way it's an absolute beautiful May day and as far as i know the weather is going to get a little bit warmer as the weekend comes on so what do we have to do look good feel better ireland what they do is they offer a service to people that are going through cancer have went through cancer are getting treatment or over treatment or maybe had treatment in the past okay now this obviously is open for male and females and Apologies if I keep saying kind of like female, but obviously just I'm looking at it from my side of the fence, right? And for anybody, and like everybody that's watching there, you probably all know somebody, and maybe some of yourselves have experienced this, okay? Is that somebody may be going through cancer treatment, their skin changes, okay? I think it's probably, well, I won't say it's one of the biggest side effects, but you know what I mean? It's a side effect. So suddenly their skincare regime completely changes. Like they have greasy skin now, they have dry skin. I'm not a beautician, I don't know anything about it. But obviously they may have to play around with a few little tricks when it comes to putting on their makeup, whether it's false eyelashes or eyebrows or whatever it might be. Look good, feel better, offer a service to people and even if you've went through treatment in the past and this is the whole idea of today's class is to let people know about this service because it's free okay we're not looking for any money we want to raise awareness about the service right so by you sharing this other people will listen and we'll be able to send them over to the page so Sinead is working today the lazy cow has come back off her holidays hasn't she David she has and she's back working so Celine you can sit back and have a rest <laughs> you can and enjoy it Celine and Jackie and all the rest of you but listen if you want to join in as well so Sinead is going to tag the Facebook page and I'm not sure what she's doing on the Instagram page I've a couple sure. of people have, and look good feel better is actually watching in so really? they can do their okay. own job right, so you do your own job you start tagging there right so we're running an amazing competition, right? Where 
everybody here is up for grabs it's going to be a big big hamper okay of beauty products free makeups free skincare like absolutely amazing and this is offered by a company called 11 pr events right now we know emma who owns the company 11 pr events she is an amazing person okay and very very generous and gives up a lot of time you know that way with look good feel better ireland and Haley, i think might be what might be tuned in there now as far as i know they're in the pro Process of making the hamper so I kind of think if we were to pop over to 11 PR events so somebody will tag their page there for us and everybody says hey they put something extra in the hamper bag <laughs> I think like you I know think me, she might yeah I think the hamper box could get bigger and bigger and better do you know that way and it's going to be a mega hamper anyway to start off so that's one little job you have to do. You have to pop over to 11 PR events, obviously follow their page on Instagram, on Facebook, and just give a little wink, wink, hint, hint, Hayley and Emma, any chance to throw a few more products into the hamper. Because the bigger the hamper is, the better. And this is going to be posted to somebody, Ireland or the UK, and they're going to announce the winner on Friday. But also what you have to do is you need to pop over to the Look Good, Feel Better Ireland page, okay? Because it's the Ireland page that we're kind of promoting today. In saying that, obviously, follow the, their other pages as well worldwide. And you're going to say something like, Case Flair Fla School, oh, I stuck in there. Case Flair School sent us over. 11 PR event sent us over. We don't care what you say, right? Now, Hayley was in a bit of a tizzy this morning because her job was to post the, the photograph of the hamper up on the page that you could all comment underneath but she's making the hamper but this is suits us grand because she's making the hamper we're going to keep telling her to put more products into the hamper so we don't really mind that so on the look good feel better page at the moment is a little post well a big post with all their may dates workshop now i think this will be brilliant because these are worldwide galway roscommon dublin donegal i don't know what other counties okay if you could share that on your page and then just put up underneath this is a free service to anybody so, so like i'm just going to give you an example like we have in on thursday the 12th which is tomorrow and uh, they have a virtual class in galway on wednesday the 18th they have a virtual class in cork on Thursday the 19th, they have a face-to-face -face class in Limerick. And on Thursday the 26th, Solace Cancer Care, they have a face-to-face -face class. So you can yeah. see they're all over the country. All over. I see just on YouTube, Patricia is asking, can she get a voucher for a look good feel better? You don't need one. No, it's, it's free. free. It's free. And as I said, we're not even looking for any money today. This isn't a fundraiser. This isn't a donation page. All today is let's get the word out there. Let people know. Let your friends know. Let your family know. Let your work colleagues know. Let them know about the service. Because probably their mum, their sister, their auntie, their father, their brother or whatever is going through treatment at the moment and doesn't know how will I put on these false eyelashes or eyebrows or and they do have roaches come in from um and do wig consultations yeah. and and um, show you how to and use like, a turban some of the most amazing uh, makeup artists like i know rona cullen yeah she's one of them nadine mary drummond yeah mary drummond there's loads of them like they're the top top class some of them are celebrity makeup artists. Love to join in on the And some of them are cancer survivors that are makeup artists that are actually given back because they've got it from themselves. Yeah. So yeah, like it's an absolutely fantastic charity. Um, and yeah, and very few people going through treatment know about it. So really is, it's try and get the word out there, guys. So I'm gonna start on, start with my little class here, okay? And then we'll come back. So you will see in the comments, the girls there are tagging 11 PR events. They're tagging look good, feel better. I know you're probably gonna hang on here for a little while, hopefully as well. And then, as I said, we can be popping over and the competition is running until Friday. Friday. Anyway. Hayley and Emma is announcing the winner on Friday. So to make these cutie little, um displays for displaying up your flowers this is a compostable um sorry a biodegradable cellophane that i have here and these are kind of compostable wraps that i have so in case anybody said oh god she's using cellophane and i'm also going to use some tissue paper but i'll start off with a very simple way to do this just for anybody that hasn't a clue how to make these so with these rolls of cellophane, and you can go into any flower shop, they sell you um, like a metre or a yard of cellophane. What we're looking for is less than a metre, less than a yard, because I'm looking for a square piece, okay? And the easiest way, hopefully they can see this. You can, yeah. The easiest way to make a square for yourself, right, is to grab one corner of the cellophane and fold it over in half 
like into a triangular shape. So I'm just going to hold this up so that you can see the shape that I've made. Now along the line, just where this finger is on top, do you see me lovely nail varnish? Got my nails done yesterday. So just from where this finger is wiggling, okay, I'm going to cut a straight line. So I'm just going to get the scissors, I'm going to go along the edge there, slide it along, I'm going to push this out of the way. And what I have here now is a perfect square. So that's the easiest way. Now obviously if your cellophane rolls are smaller, your square will naturally turn out smaller. So now what I want to show you is how to make a circle. Now, rather than opening it to check was it a square, believe me, if you've done it the way I showed you, it is going to turn out like a square. So I'm folding it back into the triangle shape again. And it's much easier if you leave this flat on the table. So when it's flat on the table and you have it in a triangle, you're going to fold it into a smaller triangle. Basically fold it in half, do you see like that? And leave it flat on the table, don't keep holding it up in the air like I'm doing it. You're then going to fold it in half again into a smaller triangle. You could try this out with a sheet of newspaper. So if anybody, like my husband still buys newspapers, lots, I know my mum and dad actually look at it online. But um, if you have like, a, you know, the Herald from last night or the Independent from this morning, or even the Star of the Sun, we don't mind, we're not fussy, do you know that way? You can practice this with the sheets of newspaper. So you keep folding the triangle as small as you can, but you will get to a stage where naturally, can you see the way that has dropped down? Do you see where that's got smaller? So just keep an eye on that. So it is better for what I'm making today if you use a larger roll of cellophane. But as I said, you can try it with the smaller ones and experiment. And if possible, you can fold that again in half. And because I'm only using one layer, with these ones I use two and three layers, which I am going to show you, and um, it got harder to cut, so I wouldn't have been able to fold it as narrow. But this one here, you can see I was able to fold it quite narrow. And do you remember I said to you, keep an eye on where that shorter piece was. That's where it is. You have to cut either on that line, so in that area there, or below it. You can't cut above it, okay? So I'm just gonna squeeze that tight. And again, it's easier to do this flat on the table. And where that lower piece of cellophane is, just underneath it, I'm going to cut a bit of a half moon, half circle. To be honest, I've made the hangs of it. It's a, it's a bockety looking, crooked Buck. looking half moon, but it doesn't matter, okay? I said bockety. <laughs> Did you think I said something else? <laughs> I wouldn't course on live, on live Facebook. And then da, 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 when you open it out, can you see the way you create a circle, right? So if you want to make that circle smaller, okay, you just fold it back into the triangles again, you know that way. And the idea is that you cut down even lower. And this time I'm going to cut my bockadies into triangles just to kind of show you it can be any shape at all. Again, not very even. And da, 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 to see when I open it up, that's how you get like smaller circles. So that's what I did today. Is everybody happy with that or would anybody like to see that done again before I go on to the two colours? Comment there, let me know, are you happy enough? Will I do another one? Or I can do one with the compostable paper. Now this one is a lot shorter, so obviously it's going to turn out much, much smaller, right? But I have a trick, you see, for making the bigger ones with us. Do they want to see another one again? Uh, nobody's comment, but just obviously there's a bit of a time delay. A time delay. Uh, yes, thank you, um, somebody says. Okay, so we'll do it for that person more. there, right? So again, you open out your cell phone or your newspaper on the table, right? You fold it into a triangular shape right like so so hopefully you can see that line down the center right where the line is like the edge of the triangle you get your scissors and you cut it up so this is kind of like it's not going it's well sliding along it's, it's a lot thicker this material than the cellophane that i used earlier on so as i said you can buy the biodegradable cellophanes and this is a compostable wrap okay so there it is into a triangular shape what you then do is you fold it into it in half again basically to make a smaller triangle and you think we real even or real perfect. So if there's anybody OCD there, they're probably having a heart attack that mine are all crooked there at the end. They'd be grand. And then you can fold it in half again. And then you can fold it in half again. But you have to keep an eye where it drops. You see where it gets smaller. Because when you go to cut it, you have to cut either on that line or just below it. You know that you can't go above it. So I'm just going to go just below it here. And again, I'm going to cut another bockety half circular shape. You see like so. And when you open it up, da 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 that's how you get your circular shapes. So to make our vases today, that's what I was using was circular shapes. But I'm now gonna show you how I did it in layers of colors, okay? And I obviously need a little bit of space, so my tissue paper is over there, right? So if I have to go off camera in a second, right? 
So again, bear with me, but if anybody has any questions at all, just ask, okay? That's the whole idea. Now, flower-wise, we have some tulips. Um, we weren't getting flower delivery um, this, this, this week because our classes all start next week. Module 1 and Module 3 is starting next week, the online programs. So Linda in the florist shop downstairs, in case florist, which is not related to us, she obliged me and she got me in the 50 tulips. And then Deirdre ran up to the supermarket this morning and she picked up two cheap bunches of short stem roses. So it's just showing you again, this is all about being cheap and cheerful. We're not looking for any money off today's class and uh, something that you can make at home and as I said you can go into the likes of Mr Price and these walk around shops and you can buy tissue paper and wrap it like what I'm showing you here today. So I'm going to start off with our pale pink and um, compostable paper right actually it's not compostable it's biodegradable and I'm going to open it out there on the table. Now I could cut the square but I'm actually going to hang on for a second right. I'm now going to get two sheets of tissue paper which I've just left over here right. Uh, Charmaine says hi girls greetings from South Africa. Good morning good afternoon Charmaine hope you're keeping well and huge thanks for joining us and again I'm sure there's a look good feel better in Africa, but I want you to share South the Africa, feel yeah, yeah. in Ireland, okay? Because when you when you put in the look good, feel better, loads of them will come up. So look for the one that says Ireland. That's the one that we want shared. Valerie says she loves your bockerty curves. <laughs> ja Jackie says deals have cellophane. Yeah, that's right, because they have them for making the hampers. So these are the sheets of tissue paper, which they have in deals as well. And that's a standard size, okay? So they'll always come this size. And obviously I'm looking for a square shape, which obviously I can't get because this is how the tissue comes. So I'm just using the two layers of tissue paper. One is slightly overlapping the other. Can they see that on the table? Yeah, just yeah. Because I obviously can't lift this up, right? And that actually has made a square for me, so it's really easy. So then what I'm going to do is just slide the scissors up along the tissue paper, or along the cellophane, right? So I'm not gonna lift it up because obviously the tissue paper will move. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do another layer of the biodegradable cellophane on top of that, okay? And again, a little bit bockety, a little bit moving, but it'll be grand, and I'm going to slide along that. And if you want to add in the green, I could have added in the green. Haley is watching. Haley. Haley. Oh, Haley. Everybody. Now, Haley is now online, girls and boys, okay? Haley is the girl making up the hamper. So everybody now, Haley, throw in another product, make the hamper as big as possible. Because listen, she, she's afraid of us, isn't she? She is afraid She'll of us, yeah. She'll do what we tell her and what you tell her, <laughs> even though Emma is our boss. But I think Emma is off today, beautifying herself. So Emma won't know what's going into the hamper. No. So what I have here, Haley, keep lashing all that stuff into the hamper. Remember, this is all for a worthy cause. And again, today, it's all about raising awareness of look good, feel better ireland okay look good feel better is in 27 countries including south africa they've there just commented go. there you go is tens of million but we're sponsoring and we're pushing look good feel better ireland but obviously that Char charmaine in south africa you can find the south africa um version or whatever and you can share that as well and Every, everybody everyone else. is shouting for Haley to give a big box mary says yes that she said she made the mistake of giving to australia the last time we did the donations but she look at it, it's all a great it's cause it's all going to a great cause there was somebody in australia suffering and they benefited by it anyway and i bet you still got the, the prize off us anyway yes because i'm sure we were giving away a freebie and we wouldn't have left you out okay so there i have my layer of cellophane my two sheets of tissue paper to make the square shape one is overlapping the other and then i have another layer so now with difficulty i'm going to fold this into the triangle shape okay so i'm folding that over in half all the sheets together you have to believe me because i can't lift this one up i'm now going to fold this in half again right so we fold it over and if you thought i had a block of the edge the last time i have an even blockier edge this time but it doesn't matter because i know can you I just um for the girl edge. in south africa the girl in australia and the girl in new zealand wants to know what's bockerty bockerty <laughs> is kind of a cross between crooked uneven untidy and couldn't give a shite you know sort of the cut you know that way in other words definitely not ocd so now I'm going to fold this over in half again. Now, obviously, this is going to be much thicker, you know, than the last one that I had, right? As in, you know, kind of heavier quality. And if possible, we're going to fold it over in half again. And you can see there where this is where my lower edge is. And these are my bockety edges, you know what I mean? You can see there that they're not even, but it's fine. Now, on this lower edge, that's where I now have to cut it, okay? You either cut along that line or you can cut um, just below. So I'm just going to cut straight across. I'm not even going to attempt a half circle this time. 
right there we go so that's basically rubbish and then when i open this out you can see i have a half circle but i just don't want to shake it because i have three layers of paper remember and then i'm just going to open that out on the table so it means i have a layer of cellophane on the inside which is obviously for holding the flowers now i also have a layer of cellophane on the outside which isn't necessary but just because the tissue paper was in two sheets i was afraid it wasn't going to be secure enough you know that way so the next thing I need is a third of a block of floral foam. Now I don't have any blocks of foam at hand, so I'm presuming you all know, you know the rectangle kind of floral oasis that you buy. So I already had one in the oven, as in cut into a third, and it's already soaked. And I'm gonna plunk that, plunk is drop, plunk that into the middle <laughs> of our English circle. lessons afterwards. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now again, for anybody watching, today's class is all about raising awareness for Look Good, Feel Better Ireland. There's a, a hamper up for grabs. Um, all you have to do is go over, don't go yet because we're at the important part of the arrangement. Go over to the Look Good, Feel Better Ireland page. On both Instagram and, and Facebook. Facebook. Comment underneath and say you're looking for the hamper, Case Blair School sent you, 11 PR sent you, uh, have a cup of tea, Hayley, take a half day, Hayley, say anything at all, let them know that you're coming from us, okay? They'll have like an advertisement up for their workshops, if you could share that on your own page, it'd be absolutely brilliant. Hayley might have got the picture of the hamper up in the meantime, but listen, if you comment somewhere on the page, Hayley has nothing else to do, she'll find the comment and she'll be able to find the winner. The winner is going to be announced on Friday. But listen, pop over to 11 PR events, page and she give them a now follow because they're pretty low on the followers on facebook aren't they, they? are yeah yeah, yeah. loads on instagram now you can follow them on instagram as well okay back to this range. Uh, shazzy myers says jeanette teaches the, the world how to speak dublinese <laughs> <laughs> dublinese exactly so what i have is an elastic band okay so we're now going to wrap up our cellophanes and tissue papers around our um, floral foam. And I did some of these with the um, the biodegradable floral foam and also uh, the blank on the name of the other the stuff. The floral fibre medium. Yeah, Is the other stuff. Um, Agrawool. Agrawool. And again, you can use the Agrawool. You know the way inside it if you want it. So again, you can just fold up your edges, fold up this one here, fold up this one here. And you know what the best thing to do is bring it in against your chest and your stomach and do a little bit of gathering. And you're squashing it in, just see around the little bag there at the bottom. And this is where you get your elastic band, catch it on there. And then the fun part then is spreading out the frills, okay? And I kind of found to get them fluffy, okay, is separate them. So separate the tissues and the cellophane as you work your way around. And be gentle with it because the cellophane can, or the tissue paper can tear kind of pretty easy. And you can see then, this is how you get lots of ruffles. Ruffles and ruffles and frills and fancy. And it just makes it look really nice. Uh, Louise wants to know, is it too late for to sign up for module one? Um, you'd want to get on to us today because I tell you, all the kits are gone in the post this morning, okay? So we can still stick yours in the afternoon post, like there's no problem there. But if you were the UK, it's going to take that little bit longer. So we always send out the kits a week beforehand. So today is Wednesday, so a week beforehand. So um, if you get on to us when we're finished here, drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com. Sinead, stick that in the comments or give us a ring. Oh, don't ring me now. Uh, 086 26 44472. But Sinead will put that all in the comments. Kate right. is watching from Scotland and she missed the start. Go back and watch it, Kate. Go back and watch it later on, yeah. Katie. And so. well, this, if you want to watch this on the replay or if you are watching it on the replay, make sure to share it and tag yeah. us and let us know that you've shared it. As I said, today is raising awareness of Look Good, Feel Better Ireland. So share this video, share their workshops, go over and follow their page. And like put it out there on your own Facebook pages. Or again, if anybody is in maybe any cancer groups or flower range groups or floristry groups, share in their groups. And again, let as many people know about the Look Good, Look Good Feel Better Ireland services. So this is just a piece of organza. I just cut it a little bit thinner. I'm going to wrap it around here. I'm going to cross it over. I'm going to bring it back again. And Are I'm you pulling that in that. tight, Jeanette, or is it loose? Not dead tight. Not yeah. dead tight. You know, that way. Just because I want, to, I want to be able to get some flowers into it. I'm literally just going to tie a knot. I'm not even making a bow on it. Just tying a knot. And I'm just kind of trimming the edges here. And there is our little vase, our little container. So as I said, you could make loads of these in advance. Now remember, I was demonstrating and teaching you. So if I had just shut my mouth got stuck in and just did it. I'd have these made in no length at all. Have all your oasis cut into the, sh the shapes or your agro wool or your uh, design media, whatever item that you're going to use. Have it soaked 
get your cellophanes and your tissue papers. Like I also did one in brown paper, just to let you know that, see again, it can be done in the brown paper. I wrapped the hand tied twine around the elastic band and I just made a kind of a raffia bow, do you know that way, hessian bow there, just to kind of tie it on. So again, like you can make these like loads and loads of different ways. The yellow one, I'm gonna confess and say, I didn't plan to do this, right? But when I had this one made, one side turned out lower than the other, right? When I was wrapping it up. And I said, sure, would that be a great idea if you wanted to do a one-sided version of it? So again, that was part of my plan, even though it wasn't part of the plan. So again, like there's our oasis, you see down there, where I can add in my flares, which I am going to do. But I need to see everybody sharing this page. So is their shares going up, Deirdre? They are going up are in fairness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram or and thumbs up. And again, it's people letting us know where they're watching it. And just look good, feel better. Have just commented, and they says to sign up for the workshops. And um, all you have to do is log on to lookgoodfeelbetter.ie. Can Australians join your classes? Absolutely, we've yeah, three we actually on our next module one, and I think there's two of them on module three. So yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. We're um, not to no. take anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking out a few. I'm picking out kind of the pinks and the purples and um, roses and tulips here at the moment. In saying that, you can go for any mixed colours, but I'm kind of going for the couple of the purples and the pinks. I'm leaving the yellows for the moment, okay? Gemma is watching in from Floral Studio in Stratfordshire. Hello, Gemma. How are you? Big, big welcome. And again, hopefully you're sharing. Um, so I'm just kind of spreading these out, okay? That I can see the floral foam in the center. So decide on what flowers you want to, like this is this is not like a typical flower arrangement. You're basically cutting the flowers and you're sticking them in the center. Like that's how easy it is, right? So again, if you wanted to do a couple of them, you could do two or three of them at the same time. So if you had them all lined up on the table, and again, you can go taller than what I'm doing here. I kind of want to make these look like mini bunches. And as I said at the beginning of this class, these will be ideal for a confirmation, a communion, a birthday party, a summer barbecue, you know, coming up maybe at the weekend. You could have these all organized and then go to your local florist, local supermarket, buy a couple of cheap bunches of flowers and literally bang them in at the last minute. And the, um, the tulips are actually, they're in season at the moment, so they're actually quite good value as well. Yeah, really, really cute. Um, Julie Crawford, I'm watching from my daughter's salon in Tripton in the UK. She's getting her roots done. Oh, I could do my own roots being do, done at the moment. You no, know, I was only saying myself, I says, God, my own roots are actually starting to show already. So you can see there, I'm just no particular pattern, just literally sticking the flowers in, some of them kind of angles, you know the way, just to kind of give them a little bit of space. So these were just a bunch of cheap pink roses that you bought this morning in Super Value, was it? Where did you go? Little. Little. $3.99. $3.99 in Little. And this is just the one bunch divided between the two arrangements. And you can see like the value that you can get. And you know, so, like if you have if you tulips grown like in your garden, mine are actually just at the perfect stage at the moment. I should have brought some of them in. Um, now when would... it comes to tulips, like there's lots of different things that you can do to prolong the life of tulips and know when tulips are fresh, okay? So this is where we have a giveaway for you. You know the way we're always posting on the Case Flower School page, top tip of today, top tip of today, top tip for tulips, top tip for daffodils, lilies, you name it, we have all these videos. Well, what we have done recently is we've actually combined them all into an online program. Now we're working on the index, okay? I'd say maybe Hayley might be good at doing things alphabetically. I think she might be, yeah. Making the hamper. So <laughs> we're looking for somebody who's good at putting things alphabetically. So at the moment, it's not done ABC. But we have over 50 flowers, 50 fresh flowers and foliages, different varieties, and we're adding to it all the time. And you can download this program for free. So Sinead will put the link in the comments. But if you just, if you can't find it, the best thing to say is, uh, can I have the link for the online course, okay? So if you say that in the comments, over the next day or two, we will kind of go through all the comments and we'll respond to them. And um, there's amazing people, they're all loving this. And this, the amount of people that have communions next week, somebody has a baby share next week, this and they're like, oh my God, share. I'm going to do this, like... Um, um, why I was mentioning about the free, now you can see there, uh, there's no pattern, there's no system, you know what I mean, like people are saying, God, she's not doing her number one, she's not, no, I'm not, I'm just cutting the flowers and becking them in any old way at all, so literally just stick them in, these are really fresh, that's always a sign, tulips are fresh, 
is when the foliage is up over the head. Ah, uh, you know Celine is ahead of Sinead. She's already posted the link to the free course. Fair play to you, Celine. And if anybody can't find the link for the free course, just comment. I'd love a link for the free course. And when Sinead gets up out of the bed and she does respond to you, she'll pull it up. And I can see Celine um, taking over Sinead's job. I can now. see it too. Charmini has said she's, she loves the Top Tips video. She's learned so much. There is. There's loads of information. And there's actually some of them are, like, there might be two or three on Lily's because there's a few different things. And we just try to keep all those videos really short. So you can just pop in and pop out. It's a great tutorial in that sense. Somebody asked me there the other day, I think she had got Copper Beach in and she was actually one of her own students and she said, God, you know, any top tips for Copper Beach? And I knew there was a video in that online program about Copper Beach. And then somebody else asked me another day about David Austin Roses. And again, I said, go to that online program. There's actually a video on David Austin Roses. So, and we're continuously, and we will be continuously adding new tutorials to it and it's just a way of keeping them all together and um, you do get a good secretary and we put them all off it'd be even better it'd be even better uh, finest flares ireland says have you ever thought about writing a book for people on tips sue whale has the book sue whale has the book yeah so again is sue not watching today no i, I haven't seen she sue on she's over in manchester or birmingham? Birmingham, birmingham i think she is these are her books okay come on Sly, and tag her there for me right <laughs> sue whale sunflower sue on instagram Jago Publishing is our company. This book is the Bible, okay? I use it all the time. And we get all our students to buy it on module one. And she's three books she has. One on flowers, that's the best one. Foliage, that's the second best one. And it's not that there's nothing wrong with this one. <laughs> we just don't use it that much. House plans, okay? So there's nothing wrong with that one. But when you buy the three of them, you get a special offer. You know that way. Um, I'm not sure of the prices. But listen, pop on to our page there. And um, just, uh, for, just for people, um, if you're watching on Instagram, and you're looking for the link will you dm us that you're looking for the link because we won't be able to see these comments we can only see them when we're live so if you're watching us on instagram and you're saying can i have the link for the book send us a dm to the instagram and we'll send you the link to it so um, when i say i fetch them flares in any old way does everybody just agree? tilt them up that we can see and them. i'm now going yeah. to add a little bit of our special branch you know somebody I mean? wants to know what was the green you were using jeanette the green is just the leaves off the tulips i haven't put any foliage into this yet because i have my special branch so we talked this morning if you see me walking across the road carrying this branch and the traffic stopped for me and there was a man if anybody knows Rialto, the school is right on the roundabout and talk about taking your life into your own hands to cross the road and i actually live on the opposite side of it you know what I mean? so i'm walking to work this morning short sleeves because it was a lovely morning carrying this branch across the road and you're all the, tra the traffic stopped on the roundabout you know that way they probably thought it was a ton weight but there's literally no weight in it at all so this is just a bit of eucalyptus out of my own garden as i explained at the beginning i'm just going to cut and just stick a little bit of like foliage in and out through it doesn't really need it you know that sort of way but again it's just adding another little bit of texture and if anybody was maybe a little bit short on flowers you know that way it's a little trick for you there is put in lots and lots of foliage now them tulips are only in the smoke well they came in to from holland last night but obviously we only got them this morning so they're only in water since this morning and they are going to blow open really wide and even Deirdre's little roses, they're going to blow open. Not huge. The little ones never blow huge. But they will blow open that little bit more. So I'm just sliding a couple of little branches of the eucalyptus down into my little bunches. And if there's time, I'll do one of the yellow ones. Is there time? Or I, well, yeah, I or think they're all right. I actually don't know me? how long we've been on, to be honest. You oh, know, here, 32 minutes. Right. Are you pissed off with me? Uh, have I had enough? Are you sick of me talking? Do you know that way? Or do you want to do another one? It's just, what about the little one side? Do, yeah, do the little one side. See, yellow one. That one crooked, you know, that way. So again, um, I've done one with the yellow and the green kind of wrapping together. And then I've just done one with just the yellow tissue paper and the cellophane. And I kind of have the green organza. And as I said earlier on, I made a bit of a bag when I was wrapping up that one in that I'd done a crooked. And then I said to myself, do you know what? You didn't do a crooked. You planned to do a one-sided And just, one um, Sinead has just reminded us there um, in the comments that the reason why we're doing this giveaway course is because we're 35 years old this week. That's true. You're forgetting that. This, there's so much happening this week. So this particular week, 35 years ago, and I was around, believe it or not, Deirdre was a little bit younger than me, she was only a nipper, she was, and my mum set up Kay's Flower School, so the first week in May, as I said, 35 years ago, Kay's Flower School was set up, it has changed so much over the years, and I think our whole life history 
everything about us, you know that way, is actually in on the website. Page. It's on the case Flare School page or on the website, flareschoolirelands.com. I think it says all about us or tell us about us or something like that. We probably so need we, to update it a little bit. Probably need to add another few years onto it. But uh, if you want to have a little nose and see all about our family or whatever, you'll find it on the website, you will. But um, this, you know, just before Christmas, we had a big um, scholarship award. And I think it was Noreen Irwin, not that I think, it was Noreen Irwin in County Cork. She won the prize, whereas basically she's getting her floristry training completely free. All her fresh <laughs> flowers, all her materials, and she's starting next week. She Michelle is. says she's new to the group. Jeez, I'm waiting on you to pass out with the lack of oxygen. You can talk, but she loves the <laughs> tutorials. Do you know what? My first husband left me because I talked that much. <laughs> I can talk for Ireland. When we go on holidays, my husband, just, my, my new husband, just say to me, Jesus, Jeanette, don't start talking. Don't start talking about the hours. And it always is the first thing, you know, people say to you, what do you work at, you know, yourself? And you, you say about flowers. Oh, sure, I love flowers. So what I'm basically doing is banging a few roses. These are, again, little roses, three ninety nine. Um, Deirdre bought one bunch of them. There's 10 of them in a bunch. And I'm just going to divide them up kind of between our two arrangements here. No particular lengths, no particular measurements, no particular style. Just kind of like adding them into the flower foam. Crook it, slant it, whatever it might be, just to kind of spread them out. And you can use any flowers here. So again, if somebody has, I know somebody has said there's a confirmation coming up at the weekend. Let us know what flowers you're able to get. Even if you comment underneath this in a day or two, we, we get a notification and we always respond back to everybody. So just let us know and we'll be able to tell you whether they're suitable. Noreen is actually watching. She says she can't wait to start on Wednesday. And um, Charmaine, I think it was, is saying she's starting next week as well, but as a Module 1 and she's bought the Sue Whale books. So you'll actually get to meet Sue because Sue yeah. will come into Module she comes 1 into the classes and she module. talks to you um, and tells you all about her and what she does. Um, and when we just say like Sue comes into the classes, you know that way, or we're going to meet all you next Wednesday, it's hard for outsiders to understand how our online courses work. I will have move in with you next Wednesday. So I will be moving to South Africa. I will be moving to County Cork. You know that way. I will be in your kitchen. If you're watching your classes at night time, I'll be in the bed beside you. So tell him to push over and keep his cold feet to himself. You know that way. I'm going to move in with you for the next four weeks. You will be sick of me. You will have a Dublin accent <laughs> at the end of the four weeks. And we will be on one-to-one -one WhatsApp. I'll be voice messaging. If you're kind of saying, I never voice message, I'll have you voice messaging again at the end of the four weeks. And it'll be literally one-to-one. -one. And every morning, we all meet up in the bloom room for the chats. You know that way, 20 minutes, half an hour, and everybody gets to know each other because the only people in the bloom room is the people on the course. So again, like here where I'd say, like, comment where you're from. So Noreen will be putting up, she's from Cork. The other girl will be saying, she's from such a place. And you'll actually get new friends. It just be amazing because all our students then, they get promoted, okay, into our Bloom studio when they're finished their training. So again, they've all been through the process. They make amazing friends. They all help each other out, you know, that way. And when anybody has a wedding, like it's a big kind of, oh yeah, I'll be down to Cork to help you or I'll be up to Derry to help you. Again, just to let you know, to see how that's Deirdre Flynn says she can't wait to be back in the Bloom room. Flowers by Madeline says, my husband thought you were in the house when I did the course. He says, all you could do is hear your voice. <laughs> that's what happens when the kids are, when we're doing the live chats in the morning, the husband just be saying, how's Jeanette today? Or he'd be saying, what's she wearing today? Or I used to wear hairbands all the time. And what colour hairband has she got on? It'd just be mad. Like, we get to know you. You know all about us. You'll be sick of us, you will. You know that way? And we try to make it as personal as we possibly can. By mistake there, I'm after adding in one of the lilac tulips, which is going to be lovely anyway. So I'm just going to get another one or two lilac ones and add them in as well, just to bring um, it. Acme Flair says the online course is just amazing. No other course compares. Ah, oh, thanks, thank you. Thanks a million. Um, Alexandra Musgrave says I'm in um, I'm on from Mead but she now lives in North Kilkenny welcome um, well, so now what we're going to do is we're going back to our special branch and we're going to add a little bit of foliage in and out through these so again you can see these are so simple to make if it was the kids communion you could get them even to have your hand sticking the flowers in it wasn't a flower arrangement even though I suppose I falsely advertised this as a flower arranging glass but it wasn't really flare arranging as such. It's just called banging flares into a piece of floral foam any old way, hope for the best and the fingers crossed. 
Remember, today is all about spreading awareness about Look Good, Feel Better Ireland for anybody that's joining in or for anybody that hasn't yet done it. Couple of little favours. We need you to share this video. We need you to pop over to the Look Good, Feel Better Ireland page. The girls are putting the link there in the comments below. Look Good, Feel Better Ireland is watching. They're tuned in here at the moment. Pop over to their page. Now, Hayley might have caught up. So there could be two photographs. One could be the photograph of the hamper that's up for grabs that you can win. And you can comment underneath that and you can say huge thanks to Hayley from 11 PR events. Or Hayley throw some more products into the hamper. Or you can share underneath it. You'll see where they have the May Madness. And it's their timetable of all the um, classes that look good, feel better are having throughout the whole of Ireland. Okay, Whether it's online, face to face, it's all completely free. Most people don't know about the services. And you actually get a goodie bag. That's right. When you sign up, you get a little goodie bag of products. And I know when I did it five, six years ago, um, I got amazing stuff. Absolutely it's amazing. All yeah, it's all top yeah. stuff. There's nothing cheap, you know, that sort of thing. Everything will be top class because, again, it's where people would have special skin, special requirements. Mary Kinson wants to know, is it possible to do the online course if you work Monday to Friday? She's not available in the morning, so how would the mornings work? So that can be all watched on the replay. And, again, obviously the people that are in New Zealand, when we're doing it at 9 o'clock in the morning, it could be 10 o'clock at night over there. So sometimes they have to watch it again on the replay. And there'll be lots of people. Normally, you'd find 50% of the students mm. would be working. So um, it, it works out, there's no problem. And again, we make special allowances. You will still have that one to one access to me, but you'll have it in the evening time. So normally, I come back on at half seven in the evening for the, the people who are working during the daytime. That again, they have that one to one WhatsApp. Um, so I'm some, moving in with you as well. You'd be well. moving, absolutely. Um, somebody, where do you have to say? Um, oh, so what type of eucalyptus are you using, Jeanette? Oh, Jesus, I don't know. It's only garden. I haven't got a clue. Sinead, you're the horticulturist. What kind of eucalyptus is it? I think is it's... It's a tree. Yeah. <laughs> it's green, kind of grey, a little bit of silvery. I you think it's a gunny eye it. type of eucalyptus, yeah. isn't it? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Not a horticulturist. You know that way. Is Viv Bradford watching? She, she is knows. watching. Viv, what kind of... What variety of eucalyptus is it? It's very tall, anyway. <laughs> and that's the branch that was grown into Mrs. Murphy's garden. Um, Hetty is watching. I say Hetty had her own. On it. She probably did. It's Somebody said about the yellow and green looks really well together. Well, the yellow and green are the fog's colours. Oh, are they? Yes. Oh, there you go. So. Um, and I think there's a county made is yellow and green. Some of the football colours are yellow and green. So there it is. Five or six tulips, five or six roses in that. The other half of them are left in that one. There's kind of like one is kind of like slightly one sided. And there's our kind of our pink ones, our pinks and lilacs. So as I said, cheap and cheerful. You can put a lot more flowers into them if you want to. But remember I don't think you'd flowers, need to, yeah. Yeah, these flowers are really fresh. So they haven't even blown yet. The tulips, the tulips will grow, by the way. But watch the video about the treatment of tulips. You will learn absolutely loads. So we've millions for you to do today, right? If you want the free online program on conditioning and treatment of flowers, okay, just comment underneath there. You'd love the link. I'd love the link. I want the link. Give me the link. Say anything at all, and we'll give you the link. Okay, we'll come back over the next couple of hours. If you'd like Hayley to add more to the hamper to make it even bigger, comment Hayley, throw another product. Or if you have special, do they have any of the Sosumi lipsticks? Or no, I don't think so. It's the, it's a sanctuary spa oh, that they do. Spa. Yeah, oh and the John God. Frieda. And what's that thing, the dirty... Oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah, the dirty stuff, yeah. Dirty workstation or dirty something. Come on, Hayley, tell me the name of it. All oh, the amazing bath products they do have. They have all the vitamins and... Um, Again, I can't remember the name. The oh, company. Swedish Nutra. Swedish Nutrients, yeah. They have all that stuff. So this is, we want you to put as much into the hamper. And that will be up for grabs, okay? So the nicer you are to Hayley, and obviously the more times she sees your name coming up, then she might say, God, I'll pick her as a winner. So on Instagram or on Facebook, um, and we need you to spread the awareness about Look Good, Feel Better Ireland, their services. Let people out there know what they offer. It's all free, okay? So what they offer to people going through cancer or finish their cancer treatment or going through the treatment at the moment. And obviously, if you have any questions about Look Good, Feel Better, pop over to their page and ask them. Can, Annabelle, is Annabelle still Annabelle, there? yeah. Annabelle was the girl that's still there. I'm not sure if it's the no, girl that's watching there today. And... Um, Go over to Annabelle, she's absolutely brilliant. She'll answer all your questions, they're going to be ringing us. And if you have any questions on the classes here at the school, she's seen that I have you as all listening, why not drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com. 
Well, I think I'm finished there. But listen, next Wednesday, same time, same place. So next Wednesday. Annabelle says she's here. <laughs> here at 12 o'clock, we're going to have another class, okay? And next week, we're going to be using Sweet William. And we're going to be using it from a company here in Ireland called Bally, Bally Mad Farm. I used them. Do you remember when I um, went for the pumpkins last October and we went down to Bally Mad Farm? Well, we're getting all our Sweet William in from, the, from them. And I don't know what I have planned, but I'll have some plans for you next Wednesday. So join us next Wednesday at 12 o'clock and off you go now pop over to 11 PR events pop over to look good feel better Ireland drop us an email if you need any information on classes and have a fabulous day talk to you all very soon and <laughs> good luck everybody and huge thanks for joining us and remember to share share our video bye bye everyone see you then